Do you want to see how to fix a clog in the Prusa Mini? You've come to the right place! This is the first time I got a small problem with my Prusa Mini. It's a nozzle clog. Nozzle clogs are pretty common in the 3D printing uh, world, so uh, that's something I would, I would have expected from uh, this machine to happen, and especially since it has a Bowden tube. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today, so to uh, give it a look and try to fix it. The only things you need is just a 10mm spanner and an Allen key. And that's it, so let's get our hands into it! Three, two, one. So here we are in front of the machine. I have tilted it upside down so it's easy to see. This is the extruder motor and uh, now we're going to remove the extruder block, which is not that, that difficult. So you just undo this first screw here. Which is a very long screw. Remove a second one in this other corner. Then there is a third one down here, which is also holding the door. You see my door mod here with uh, the cogs. So, windows to go. so that's step number one. So we have removed the extruder from the machine. And then we have to open this up in here, so there's two more screws to go, actually three or four, so we'll take the first one out. So this step is not necessary because we could have accessed this through this door here, but I also wanted to take the chance of showing you the innards of the Prusa extruder. Difficult to do this while having the camera on my way, but all the things I do for you guys. So here we have it removed. So this is the motor with the gear that drives the extruder. I will lay it down here, and here we have the Bowden tube, the main gear. There's one extra screw in here, and this other one. So, and as I said, there is this door, so we also have to release that. So this one is actually pulling the idler against the extruder wheel. So that's, this is spring-loaded, so if you have to take this out, just don't lose this one, you will need it. And here we are. So that's a good view of what happened here. A very big mess, so let me try to zoom in. So if I can get a good a good shot of this. So the, I would say that the filament is actually flattened out against the extruder wheel, so I will have to clean up this mess. It's actually flattened completely. So I think I will, have to, I will have to cut it out to take it off. It's so, it is so damaged, it's not coming out this way, so I have to pull it out the other way. So here it is, and this is how it looks. So it's totally flattened, so it's been completely eaten up by the gear of the extruder. Oh yeah! So due to the clog situation, I have actually decided I'm going to make a cold pool, so I'm going to take away the bottom tube. It's a 10 millimeter spanner to do that, so we take away the compression nut here, and then we pull out the bottom tube. Just make sure you're not Losing this ferrule here, which actually should be very well attached to the pipe. And then we set this aside. So now we have 
a naked bit of uh, filament here. So let's see what we do next. So next we're going to turn the printer on. And uh, I'm not going to do the cold pull with this uh, filament because if this has caused the clog, then it will be difficult for me to pinpoint if we're, if I've taken out anything. So I have this spare bit of uh, pink, uh, very fashionable wa uh, filament. So let me heat it up. So let me preheat it, PLA. So now we preheat the nozzle and we have to pull this one out. So I'm actually going to push it a bit in just to make sure that uh, uh, it will ooze out a little and then I'm going to take it out. So now we have our heat, so I'm going to push this down a bit. It doesn't actually go anywhere. It's a bit weird, so I'm going to pull it out. So this is how it looks like. So how do you do the cold pull? The first thing you have to do, contrary to the name, is to actually, uh, it's to actually supply a new filament, so you need to have some heat. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to feed some filament in. And then we're going to cool it down until it sits into a comfortable heat level. And while we wait for the filament to cool down, for the O10 to cool down, we continue gently pushing down more filament because we actually want to do a mold of the inner cavity of the nozzle. So we want to make sure that there is no space in the nozzle that can be taken up by air. Because basically what the cool cold pool does is if there's anything inside the nozzle, we're going to melt it or glue it to the filament and then pull it out. Okay, now it's not melting anymore, and we will have to wait until it cools down enough that it's still soft, but uh, hard enough for us to pull it in one piece. So that's usually around 80 degrees, so I'm going to wait until uh, the temperature reading in the machine is 80 degrees. So here we are, the machine is now cold enough, I'm going to... Try to gently wrench this out of the hot hand. And it's yielding. Good. So you see now, I had my clog with some black filament, so there's a lot of black particles in here. So this is might as well worked. If uh, you feel like there's something really wrong with your printer, you can run this multiple times, of course. And uh, that's it for this, uh, for the workshop part of the video. So, uh, you've seen I've got a pretty bad clog in my, in my case. The, the extruder was grinding on a filament and it was stuck, so I don't know what, what went wrong. Uh, my spool of filament was a bit uh, old, so it might be something with the dryness of the filament, even if it's what, if it, even if it was PLA. So now you know how to disassemble the extruder of this machine. That's pretty simple, but still I wanted to share with you guys. And you also learned how to do a cold pull if you didn't know how to do it. It's, uh, some of the basics that you need to have when you're doing maintenance on a 3D printer. I hope you enjoyed what you see, so if you want to see more of this, then uh, you can uh, consider subscribing to the channel. That will mean a lot to me. I have a few other projects uh, coming up. One is my clone of the Prusa Mini itself that is coming from China, hopefully, because it's not been shipped yet, so it should come from uh, Europe, but still, uh, I don't know what's wrong there. Um, still, we're waiting for it. And I have another secret project coming up, so stay tuned and... Uh, I hope uh, you like what you see today and until next time.